Welcome to TLH Patterns. In this video, let's see how to crochet a very beautiful sling bag using two colors. It's a very easy pattern. It's a beginner friendly and uses only a few basic crochet stitches. The bag is about 18 and half centimeters wide and 19 and half centimeters high. I used category 2 yarn also known as uh, sport weight yarn in uh, two colors and a 3.5 mm crochet hook. You'll also need a button, yarn needle and uh, scissors. We'll start with the main color. Make a slip knot and work 17 chains. After completing the chains, work a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then work single crochet in rest of the chains except the last one. Then work 3 single crochets in the last chain. Single crochet in the next 14 chains on the other side of the foundation chain. Then in the next chain, work 2 single crochets. Join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. You'll have 34 single crochets in the first round. Make 3 chains. This will count as the first stitch of the second round and work a double crochet in the same stitch, double crochet in the next 14 stitches, then work 2 double crochets in the next 3 stitches then double crochet in 14 stitches Finally, 2 double crochets in the last 2 stitches. In this round, you will have 40 double crochets. Join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Pull the next color through the loop and tighten the loop by pulling the first color. Then in this round we will start working using the new color. Chain 1 and work a single crochet in the first stitch. 
chain 1, skip 1 stitch and work double crochet, chain 1 and double crochet in the next stitch. Chain 1, skip the next stitch. And work a single crochet in the next stitch. Then chain 1, skip the next stitch. And into the next stitch, work double crochet, chain 1 and double crochet. Chain 1, skip next stitch and work a single crochet in the next stitch. Repeat this around. Finish the round with a slip stitch in the first single crochet. Let's change color for the next round. Pull the first color through the loop and tighten the loop. Then work 3 chains. This will count as the first stitch and work a double crochet in the same stitch. Then chain 1 and work a single crochet in the next uh, chain 1 space between the two double crochets. Chain 1 and then work 3 double crochets in the next single crochet. Chain 1 Single crochet in chain 1 space between the 2 double crochets, chain 1, 3 double crochets in the next single crochet. Repeat this around. Finish the round with a double crochet at the beginning of the round. At the beginning you have worked only uh, 2 stitches. So now you will work the 3rd stitch and then join with the slip stitch to the 1st stitch. Now pull the 2nd color through the loop. Chain 1 and then a single crochet in the uh, same stitch and then chain 1 and in the next single crochet work double crochet chain 1 and double crochet then chain 1 single crochet in the second double crochet chain 1 double crochet chain 1 and double crochet in the next single crochet Chain 1, single crochet in the second double crochet. Repeat this around. At the end of the round, you will join with the slip stitch to the first single crochet. So these are the two rounds that uh, you will be repeating with the alternating colors. So repeat rounds 4 and 5 11 more times. It's about 7 inches wide and uh, a little over 7 inches high. 
then pick up the first color and let's work a border you can cut off the other yarn chain one and work a single crochet in the same stitch and then work a single crochet in the next chain one space single crochet in the next chain one space and another single crochet in this next chain one space and then single crochet in the next stitch repeat around Join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet chain 1 and work another round of single crochet in each stitch. Then sew a button. Join yarn at the back of uh, the bag right behind the button and make a few chains long enough to go around the button. When you have made enough chains, slip stitch in the same stitch and cut off yarn. Now we'll make a strap for the bag. I am holding two strands of yarn together and using a larger hook, um, that's 4mm hook. Make a slip knot and uh, work 150 chains. Then work slip stitch at the back of each chain. I am working slip stitch into the horizontal bumps at the back of uh, each chain. Then you can sew both the ends of the strap to the sides of the bag. I hope you like this pattern. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel. You can click on the bell icon to receive notifications as soon as I upload a new video. Thank you.